chime in on the fact that, or on the, I want to put some light on that they're trying to take transgender out of s sports, right? That I, I like, support. Yeah. yeah. No, but listen, yeah, cool. But I don't want them to feel like that they've been shunned. How about they start like a certain a like trans start league? Tr trans league like where they can really, yeah, yeah, bro, and they can still go do their thing and they can still perform and still be great at what they love because who are we to say that they don't love football or mm -hmm. they don't yeah. love soccer yeah. or they don't love these type of sports baseball like or they just shouldn't UFC, be able to take those opportunities yeah, away from women i feel like this is very true i you feel know? like this is very true a man shouldn't be able to go to a women's sport i feel like a right. woman should right. be able to go to a man's sport they can if you that tough if you do your thing up. pull up yeah. do your thing if a woman's yeah, tough if you enough that to tough, be able to step like, up i'm with that but sure like is. in these situations with like the leah thomas who is like a man who trans transitioned to a woman mm -hmm. and they fucking are just killing shit in swimming if that person went and entered men's swimming, they wouldn't even be competitive at all. They would not have a fucking chance against and the elite swimmers. Up. You shouldn't be able to do that. But meanwhile, they're the best females. Yeah, swimmers. and that that's they should probably I feel that's like just trans, all that. I feel like transgenders should be able to have their own league and be able to thrive. And I think that it would generate a lot of money because there's a lot of people from the LGBTQ community that will support and stand behind the campaign. They would never get into this idea because to them, it's like no, like we don't. We are women. We are, you know, a trans woman right. is a woman, and like you can't put us in a separate league. They no. would flip shit no. at this they, suggestion that's of that. Crazy, they could because that's I think they could if they feel a that. certain type of way about the dude walking around with a dick. Uh -huh. They have to feel some type of way about that. Right. It's like, come on. But okay, if you got a homie and he decides to sports. transition into a woman, do I have a homie? If you, you said, did, if I had a homie that transitioned to a woman, if what? they told you, like if they made this style <laughs> of announcement, me. look at his face when you asked him. Look at it carefully. Say I mean, it I'm just look. trying to put it into his ears so like, he can imagine it. I've never been asked no shit like that. I saw in my his life. face. You know he I'm was saying? like, "What'd you say?" <laughs> <laughs> It's ask just a thought again, experiment. Ask. How would you feel if that was, uh, you know, something ask that happened? Again, thoroughly, ask him again. If you had a friend, yeah. somebody you known since they were growing up, and they told you that they wanted to transition to a woman, how yeah. would you feel? Man, I somebody mean, you've known all your life. We, I mean, at this point, if you were transitioning to being a woman, you've been having. Don't say it to me like you, I'm transitioning. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Look, look. You look to me like you've well, had, sharp you've had you enough like, off time. You've had enough off time. Obviously, we're not everyday homies, right? You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. obviously, we're not falling into the same nightclub. Because right. I don't know where you went left, I, yeah. unless it was the myth. If you were you hanging out with them on a I, daily basis, it would probably be a lot different than if it was just like a person. You yeah, if it's knew, a right? person I grew up with and he decided to like, I like shit. Nigga. Obviously, you ain't been coming. Like what I'm saying is. If one of my everyday partners, I, you would sense it at some point. Oh, yeah. You would sense it at some point. That's why I was saying, like, like look at Chris, right? You don't look like there's any senses. If Dwayne Wade hopped out tomorrow, I was like, okay. But you're going off I a know, picture. But listen, you're going off a picture. But I watched Dwayne Wade do walkthroughs through the arena. I'm like, yeah. okay, he was wearing lip gloss yeah. and shit then. Yeah, <laughs> wearing but, nail polish. But what I'm, I'm not going to be too shocked. You're talking about you Dwayne Wade's here. kid, right? He, I'm talking about Dwayne Wade. What, he was doing all that? He, as well, yeah. He yes. could have been sucking dick right there. Lip gloss, all that. He could have been sucking dick in that picture right there. Hey, love to Dwayne Wade. But nigga, if you're gonna come out, just come out, nigga. I think Gabrielle Union knows all about it. I just don't think that they've put it all the way out to retro just yet. Uh, That's all. You're thinking he's cross dressing behind the scenes. I think, yeah. And I know, grew up yeah, looking sure. up to you. I played and, basketball. And I, and I, man, hey, God, listen, God. and I love Dwayne Wade. I'm never gonna say that he's a horrible basketball player. He's a, he's a great. He's won championships. He's done great things. But you have to understand, he's not the, he's just one of the ones that was willing to wear lip gloss. 